Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Norfolk Terrier, an adorable breed with a positive attitude and a vivacious personality. As always, we've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video, starting with the breed's history. The Norfolk Terrier is one of the little red terriers created by an early 20th century English horseman and dog breeder named Frank Roughrider Jones for use as ratters and fox bolters. It is documented that the Norfolk and the Norwich were once grouped together as a single breed. However, the Norfolk has droopy ears and the Norwich has perky ones. During that time, miniature working terriers were explicitly bred for ratting and fox hunting. They were also known for being excellent scavengers because they quickly retreated underground. Both dogs were initially categorized as Norwich Terriers or Jones Terriers in the United Kingdom and the United States, although after a while, the two groups gradually separated. After a series of disputes among dog lovers, the Kennel Club of England officially recognized Norfolk as a separate breed in 1964. The AKC and the Canadian Kennel Club recognized the Norfolk and Norwich as distinct breeds in 1977. Appearance Norfolk Terriers are undoubtedly among the smallest of the working terriers. In terms of texture, the breed's coat is rigid, wiry, and erect. Both sexes of the breed seldom reach a height of around 9 to 10 inches at the shoulder and 11 to 12 pounds. They are pretty similar to their distantly related Norwich Terrier relatives. Just by looking at their ears, you can tell them apart. Norwich's ears stand proud and pointy, whereas Norfolk's are neatly folded behind their heads. Temperament Norfolk Terriers are good guard dogs because of their loyal and protective relationships with their human families. He may be small in stature, but he more than makes up for it with his big smile and infectious enthusiasm. He has a positive attitude, is quick to react, and is always up for a good time. Despite their doll-like appearance, Norfolks are true terriers in every respect, spirited, self-assured, robust, and eager for new experiences. It is typical of a Norfolk to be headstrong, anxious to play chase, and pro to dig and bark. To owners who aren't ready for or don't like the terrier's quirks, these characteristics may be a source of frustration. If terriers are your thing, you'll adore the Norfolk for his vivacious personality, tenacity, and commitment to his family. The Norfolk Terrier has typically a delightful and happy attitude. The dog is friendly and outgoing and has no problem showing love to its human family. When it comes to character, the breed scores well. Socialization the Norfolk is great with kids and would be an excellent addition to any home. Because of his small stature, he is best suited for households with children 10 years or older who are less likely to tread on or damage him. Bear in mind, however, that dogs and small children should never be left alone together without supervision to avoid unpleasant occurrences. With early and consistent socialization, puppies of this breed often get along well with humans and other dogs. A well-natured Norfolk may live peacefully in a home with other dogs since he is less likely to engage in canine warfare than certain terriers. However, the innate predator in him means he will pursue anything else he thinks may be food. Therefore, he is not a good fit for a family with pets, especially tiny ones. Although Norfolk Terriers are little, adorable, and devoted companions that would happily snuggle up on your lap, you should never refer to them as lap dogs. They're also capable travelers who can go anywhere and do anything. Despite his barky tendencies, tendencies when bored, his diminutive stature makes him a good apartment dog. Grooming the Norfolk is a low-maintenance dog breed. The breed is known to have a double coat with a harsh outer coat and a softer undercoat to provide thermal and acoustic insulation. You should brush your Norfolk Terrier once a week to eliminate dirt and loose hair. At least twice a year, you'll need to strip the coat by hand to get rid of the accumulated dead fur. By manually removing the dead outer hairs and undercoats, you will allow the newer, healthier hair to flourish. Do not attempt to cut the coat since this would destroy its textured appearance. The ability to learn how to hand strip or locate a groomer who would is crucial for this breed. You should give your dog a bath every four to six weeks or whenever you believe it's best. It should also have its teeth brushed at least once a day and its nails trimmed around once a month. But once a week, you should check whether its ears need to be clean. Always remember that you can take your pet to a professional groomer if you face challenges doing it yourself. Exercise 
The Norfolk is an energetic breed with a strong prey drive. Therefore, exercising that excessive energy via walks, treks, or active play is highly recommended. Every day, he requires either one 20 to 30 minute walk or two 10 to 15 minute play periods. Dog activities like agility and trekking are perfect for Norfolk Terriers. While at it, keep your Norfolk Terrier on a leash or within a securely gated area while he or she is outdoors. This is because its natural instinct to hunt may lead it astray if it sees a tiny animal or other potential meal and takes off after it. He may also benefit from puzzle toys for mental stimulation. Training Norfolk Terriers are more social than the average terrier since they were bred to hunt in groups. This canine has a high IQ and takes pleasure in learning new things. Though they are intelligent and form strong bonds with their family, they may test their owner's patience and control without proper obedience training. Training and early socialization may assist in establishing desirable tendencies and delay the onset of undesirable ones. However, his independence from authority and sometimes stubbornness may make training difficult. You Use only positive reinforcement techniques such as rewards and praise during training. Keep your dog's attention throughout training by completing the sessions enjoyable for both of you. Diet and Nutrition Norfolk Terriers thrive on premium dog food, whether it comes from a pet store or homemade under your vet's supervision. Like humans, dogs are unique in their nutritional requirements, so you should consider your adult dog's size, age, build, metabolism, and level of exercise when determining his daily food intake. To state the obvious, a hyperactive dog will need more than a less active dog. Always offer it a canine diet that is both tasty and healthy, usually in the form of two regular meals. Find out what kinds of human food can be fed to your dog and what kinds can't. Keeping an eye on your dog's calorie intake and weight is essential since certain canines are predisposed to becoming overweight. Treats have their place in training, but too many may lead to weight gain and health problems. Maintain a constant supply of clean water for your Norfolk Terrier and do well to visit your vet if you have questions and challenges concerning your dog's diet. Health in general, the Norfolk is a healthy breed. However, they are susceptible to a few diseases that affect other dog breeds as well. Responsible breeders do health tests on their dogs for problems like patellar luxation, knee disease, and heart and eye defects. Reputable breeders of Norfolk Terriers are also making strides to lessen or eliminate the prevalence of MVD, a fatal heart defect. The Orthopedic Foundation for Animals and the University of Pennsylvania Hip Improvement Program both provide X-ray screening for hip dysplasia. Asia. Some Norfolks have been reported to have adverse reactions to standard immunizations. Hives, face puffiness, pain, and fatigue are common signs of an allergic reaction. Vaccine-sensitive dogs might have serious side effects or even death. Keep a close eye on your Norfolk for a few hours following vaccination, and if you see any strange behavior, contact your veterinarian immediately. Bear in mind that the longevity and health of your dog depend on regular trips to the doctor for exams and parasite management. Consider becoming a member of our channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.